Hola estudiantes, en este video vamos a aprender los sonidos de las consonantes del abecedario. ¿Estás listo para ir a la pizarra? Muy bien, vámonos. Hola estudiantes, primero ustedes van a repetir el abecedario o el alfabeto conmigo. Muy bien. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Muy bien. Some information right now I'd like to share with you so that you have a full picture of the Spanish alphabet is some of the letters have different names depending on which Spanish speaking country you're in. And also some of the letters, the names of the letters have officially changed recently by the Real Academia Española or the Spanish Royal Academy. Let's just take a look at those so you have the big picture. One letter, V, in the alphabet that I just said, I said B, but because B sounds the same, as they, remember in a previous video, the V sound is made by, like the B sound in English. This letter is now officially called V to distinguish these two letters. Now, if you've been saying they your whole life as a native Spanish speaker, adapting this may or may not occur, but this is just so you know the official way to say this letter now in Spanish. Also, so the W, you may hear four different names for this letter. W, 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 or W, V. Personally, I'm okay with any of them. <laughs> Finally, Y in Espanol, has been Y, has recently changed to Y, officially. Again, that doesn't mean that's going to happen overnight, and so you will hear Y associated with this letter. Excelente. Ahora vamos a hablar de los sonidos de cada letra usando mi dibujo. ¿Qué es un dibujo? Un dibujo es un drawing. Este es mi dibujo. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es este? Es una persona, ¿sí? Vamos a hablar de Cómo, pro, cómo, producir, cómo producir los sonidos de cada letra, ¿ok? So, la nariz, aquí, labio, labio superior, labio, dientes, dientes y dientes, la lengua, rr, lengua, el arco, Alveolar es la parte en la boca, the ridge, the interior ridge of your mouth, where a lot of sounds in Spanish are produced and English by placing your tongue on the roof of your mouth, like D or in Espanol, the R and the, the rolled R. Muy bien. So as we're looking at the letters, it's great to have a visual of how they're produced. Okay, vamos a empezar con B. La letra B 
is just slightly softer than the English B. Let's try these words. Benjamin, busca, busca. Busca is to look for. So, Benjamin, labio, labio, ba, ba. La letra C en español produces two different sounds, depending on which vowel follows it. Let's look at these two categories. We have ka, ko, ku, which sounds like the K sound in English. Ka, kara. Ko, coco. Coco means coconut in addition to the nickname of the tatarabuela in the movie Coco. Ku, Cuba. Ku, Cuba. Not Cuba. Cuba. Muy bien. The letter C when followed by the vowel I or E now makes an S sound in many Spanish-speaking countries or a F sound in Castellano, el Español de España. Let's try a couple examples. C, si, cinco. Or in España, cinco. C, Se, cero. Cero in España. Cero, cero. The D in Spanish is similar to the English D, produced by placing la lengua, your mouth, on the arco alveolar, the ridge of your mouth. Da as in dad, da in español, como Diego, Diego. You'll notice now with the letter G that it has a similar pattern to the letter C that we saw earlier. So two categories of sound depending on the vowel or la vocal that follows it. Let's take a look. Ga, go, gu. Muy bien, ga. Ga, go, gu. Ga, garaje. Go, gol. Gol. Gu, guru. Guru. However, when the letter G is followed by I or E, it now is an H sound with breath. So we have two examples here. Gente, meaning people. Gente. Gente. Gigante. Gigante. Or like the baseball team in San Francisco, California, Los Gigantes. Staying with the G, just again so you see everything, why skip this? You're going to find it out later, so let's just get it out of the way now because these combinations occur often in Spanish and they're so often mispronounced by non-native speakers. And that's not going to be you. You're going to learn this and you're going to do it correctly so that you feel confident when you speak. G-U-A, gua. Think guacamole. Guacamole. Managua. Managua, Nicaragua. Managua, Nicaragua. Gua. G-U-I. Huh? Gi. Gi. Gia. G-U-I with an umlaut or a diéresis. This umlaut gives what otherwise would have been a silent U sound, like in gi. It now gives it a, a wa sound. Gui. Pinguino. Pinguino. Again, not common, but there are some words. Another one I can think of, um, unguento. Unguento, meaning ointment. Finally, G-U-E makes the sound que. Merengue. Guerra. Merengue. Es el baile. Guerra. War. H. The letter H, la letra H in Spanish is silent. Hola. Hola. Notice it is not the breathed H in English. Hola. Mm -mm. Hola. Often I have students ask me, well then why does the H exist if it doesn't make a sound? I have an answer. Two answers. One is because it needs to buddy up with the letter C in order to make the CHA sound, as in muchacho, muchacho, chico. And a second reason is to distinguish between two different words that sound the same. 
Here's an example of that. Hola, hola, hello, versus hola, hola. Es un movimiento del mar, a wave in the ocean. La letra J. J in Spanish is similar to the H sound in English. In Spain, however, the sound is a little bit stronger in this region, like J. Let's do an example. Jorge, Jorge. In España, Jorge. Or how we laugh in Spanish. Ha, 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 ha. The letter K is not common in Spanish, and you'll see it only in words that are loan words, like kilometro, kilometro. However, in most situations in Spanish, when you want to produce the ka sound, we use co, ka, cu. The L in Spanish is very similar to the L in English, produced by placing your tongue on the roof of your mouth, as in Laura, Laura, lengua, lengua. Likewise, the M is very similar to the English M by labio con labio, Maria, Maria, mono, mono. The N in Spanish is very similar to the N in English with one subtle difference. In English, the N is produced with the tongue more in a little bit further in the back of the mouth, whereas the N in Spanish, you move your tongue a little bit forward to the back of your teeth. Let's try that with the word no. In, in, in English, no. Say no and notice where your tongue is. No. Now place your tongue slightly towards the back of your front teeth. And in Spanish, no. 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 See? Si? Fascinante. Enye. This is a letter that does not exist in the English alphabet. It's a ña sound, as in año. Año. Pe. Pe. Labio con labio. Padre. Pilar. Pilar is a woman's name in Spanish. I've met a lot of Pilars in Spain, for example. Pilar. La letra Q. Q is followed by the letter U, similar to English, and then often by an additional vowel. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Quién? Okay, you ready for this? These are the two most important. This is the, the, the peak of the video is the letter R. Woo! If you want to diminish your English accent, we're going to focus on these two sounds. The single R, R, is similar to the D sound in English. Let's look at the mechanics. D, say it, D, is produced by la lengua, your tongue, on the roof of your mouth, in el arco alveolar. D, de. The R is a similar mechanic when the R is located in the middle of a word, like coro, coro, the word for choir, coro, coro, do, coro, like a softer D sound, coro, coro. Lengua en el arco alveolar, coro. One of my favorite drills to accomplish this R sound in Spanish is para ti. Para ti means for you, para ti. And in English, if you say pot of tea fast, para ti, para ti, para ti, para ti, para ti, para ti, para ti. It's a good way to practice the mechanics. Para ti, para ti. That way you won't be saying para. In English, the R is produced in this region. In Spanish, it's produced in this region. Very different. Para ti. Now, the, the single R in Spanish, when it starts a word, becomes similar to the double R. So we're going to focus on the double R now. That would be a word like rojo. Rojo. There's a trill involved. Rojo. Okay? And then the double R always with that trill wherever you find it in a word. It's releasing a breath while allowing your lengua, your tongue, to gently rest on the roof of your mouth. And as air moves out of your mouth, 
and you're gently resting your tongue, it will allow a flapping sort of vibrational quality to occur. And it's an out breath. Okay, I'm not gonna do that for five minutes, but this is something you can practice. If you can't roll your R's, that is okay. It's okay. But don't ruh. That doesn't exist ever in Spanish. So don't substitute the inability to roll your R's with the R of English. Substitute it with the soft they of Spanish. Perro. Perro. Okay? Perro, 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 perro. If you can't trill your R, substitute it with a D sound. Perro, perro, perro. Okay? It's much better than perro. Woo! No. Perro, no. No, gracias. Perro, 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 o per, perro. Ready to move on? Muy bien. La S. Very similar to the English S. Sol. Sol. T. Also similar to the English T. Taco. Toro. B or V. Not similar to the English V. The English V, you have your top teeth on your bottom lip. Dientes con labio. In Spanish, labio con labio. Victor. Vaso. And it's not vaso. It's not the B and boy of English. It's softer. Vaso. Vaso. The four-legged W. <laughs> W, W, B, W, W, Also similar to the K. This is not a letter you're going to see often in Spanish words. And if you do, they are loan words from other languages. Wakitaki, waterpolo. All right. Las últimas tres letras. Woo! Casi hemos terminado. La X. Also not very common in Spanish. Un ejemplo. Expresar. Expresar. Y or officially ya, yeah, similar to the Y sound in English. Ya. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Y por fin, la Z. La Z in Spanish is the S sound or in Castellano in Spain, th sound. Corazón. Corazón. O en España, corazón. Corazón. Now, I'm not from Spain, so this is my best attempt to show you as close as I can what that would sound like. Corazón or corazón. So from my corazón, gracias por estar aquí. Que tengas un buen día. Hasta luego y hasta la próxima. Thank you.